shopping in Ikea. We're going to see if we can find some new lights and stuff. I need some lights for my office. And also to just get some candles and such. We thought might as well go here today. Nothing else to do. It's already quite packed and it's Friday. Friday! Christmas trees. There's not much of a Christmas mood right now since there's no snow or anything. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot of people in here today, I'm sure of it. Whew, guys, that was Ikea done. It's too warm in there, but we got what we needed. And now it's into Boys Eros, oh sorry, Toys Eros. Um, I need to go in and see if they got some of those plastic ramps I can use for the RC cars as jumps. I'm a big boy, I want toys. I want boy toys. Yay! See, I'm wearing a red cap today because my other one is completely sweaty after skating. I look weird in the red cap. It's not really me. A lot of kids will be Christmas happy with all this toys bought in here. Yippee! Friday's afternoons, going home from Copenhagen. Yeah. Uh, there's always kind of queuing here. And, uh, oh! What's he doing? People are drowning like maniacs. I mean, some people... It's like someone leaves their brains at home when they get in the car. It's just really horrible. You've got to keep your eyes open and, and don't trust anybody. It's like a rampage, road rage here. Completely crazy. But yeah, we're heading home now. I bought some stuff from mum and dad, so I need to go home and just turn that over quickly. Say hello to the dogs and then heading home again. I better get my hands on the wheels so I don't sit here and record all the time. Well, actually, I got my hands on the wheels now, but I'm not going to risk suddenly having to brake quickly. So I'll uh, speak to you guys later when we get home. Hi guys! Back home from Ikea and all the queuing on the road, blah! Do you notice something different? Do you notice anything different? It's nothing very large or anything, but it's a little improvement I made. Can you see something which you normally not used to see that clear? Yeah, <laughs> I put a lamp up. I bought this in Ikea and this is just three spots on this little line here. That's perfect. It lights up my office. I can do you a little RC tour of my stuff. This is my Trojan T28 Ultra Micro from Park Zone, and it's a lovely little plane. Uh, it flies very well. If you uh, are a beginner, it's a good little plane. Uh, it's quick and fast, and it's fun, and it can fly almost anywhere. It doesn't need much space. This is the one uh, I had from Mike. That's like a Swift Wing 2 copy, and um, yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know how well it flies. I never tried it. But uh, it should be ready to fly, just add some batteries, which I got down here. It's all my battery stuff. See, this is my charger. This is the two batteries for the Traxxas. This is uh, the batteries for my Mini Swift, the batteries for my normal Swift. Uh, in here is a ton of batteries for my micro helicopters. And here are three large batteries, uh, which is 2.2, three cell LiPo uh, from my uh, Trojan when I had that. I haven't got that anymore, but I'll, I'll get a new one. Charger for the minis, charger for the minis, all the other charger cables, also for the DX8. This is my Blade SR120. It's a lovely helicopter and it's the best, one of the better ones to go f to uh, if you try to coaxial. Why am I shaking straight? Then the MCPX, that is a bit more advanced, that could do 3D. It's a very fast helicopter and it takes a lot of revs, so you've got to be very careful not get your fingers into it because the blades are razor sharp. Then we've got the MSR, the little baby MSR, and it is small, look at my hand next to it. Um, but it is a great helicopter and it flies very much like that one. Uh, they are almost the same helicopter, same control system and all that, this is just a bigger version of it. Whoa, DX8. Here we got my Traxxas Slash, this is the newest one I have, uh, the Traxxas Slash VXL, uh, brushless, and it's four-wheel drive, which is a nice car, and I really wanted to get one of these. Then I got the the one I had uh, before that, this is my Traxxas Rally, and they actually built in the same chassis, they're actually pretty much the same car. The only difference is the, the body mounts, the, the bumpers, and um, the springs. One of my older cars, this is my um, HBX High Boxing uh, on road, it's a uh, Skyline. Uh, the, the thing about the HBS, they, they work okay, but they are very, very plastic cars. If you look at this big body, like, ooh, this looks like a big solid car, but look underneath. It's a little plastic frame, and it breaks the first time you hit anything, really. Um, so it's not very, very good. Uh, I had to make a very good fix there, uh, with glue both inside and outside. Uh, but we had many problems getting this driving, but it's actually driving quite well now, but I'm not using it anymore. But I'm just keeping it on the shelf because it looks nice on the shelf. There we got my Mini Swift right behind uh, my DX8. This is like a nice little wing and it's ready to fly. I just need to add the battery. And it already coded in. All my RCs is coded in for that, except the cars. My lovely new DX8. It's a lovely, lovely remote. I'm really pleased with it. It works very well. 
I haven't been out flying with it yet, but um, I've been trying to... I, I already set up most of my flying stuff and it works perfect. A Christmas card for some of my English friends, which is great, nice. That is actually a little butterfly. You wrap it up and there's an elastic band there and that uh, flies out in your face. My trackless remote for my uh, VXLs, which uh, I'll just show you on the shelf. Then we got my Team Losi Micro T. Uh, a nice little fun car. They're very quick and uh, they can take a lot of beating. Much fun. And the only funny thing about it, the, the remote for them is quite big, the same size as that. Alright, my next one, Team Loge as well, the SCT Mini, and uh, it's not very big. See my hand next to that, it's quite a small car, but it's very fast, and you can convert it to brushless. Both that one and that one. The funny thing about it, the brushless kit for that one fits that one as well, even though there's a little slight difference in the size. That one is in two-wheel drive, rear wheel, that one there is four-wheel drive. Um, this is one of the smallest four-wheel drives I've ever seen, but it's much fun. And then we have a teddy bear, and a big teddy bear, that's Paul. Hello. Hello. So yeah, we're going up to fetch Matthias now, and um, he's going to be joining ideas, so it's going to be fun. So I'm going to hurry up now. I'm only wearing my thermal underwear, but that's fine. All right, I'll see you guys a little bit later, when Matthias is here. Yay, someone's happy he got his new remote control. Matthias is going 2.4 gigahertz. So much better. So he's installing it right now in his car. And uh, yeah, it's a TT01, uh, which is a nice car. Very fast, especially on LiPo. That really kicks off the speed in it. And uh, yeah. So he is right now um, just installing the new uh, receiver and uh, going to test out if he can get any connection with the new IMAX. So it's quite good. Look, it's got a nice display, fully lit up. Have you put the bind plug in? Yep. Right Clever. Then you should press the bind button, which is up there. Probably have to do that while you turn it on. Hold the bind button and turn it on. If I'll just hold this. So no. In case it starts freaking out. Oh my god, look it's beeping and it's flashing green. That's the ESC flashing green. Hmm. Alright, see you in a bit guys. I just took Matthias home. Uh, we had a nice evening, uh, but he got to work tomorrow. Uh, so I had to take him home a bit earlier tonight. <clears throat> a bit earlier, well it's 12.40 now. Tomorrow is uh, the skate park where I normally come. Uh, it, they got a competition tomorrow, which they have every year. Christmas competition, it's called Yellow Snow. And um, I thought that maybe I should charge my normal video camera and uh, go and uh, try and do some nice recording. I thought that could be really cool. It's quite late, so I think I'll just go home and have a shower. And uh, I'm not going to watch a movie or anything. I'm just going to go home and uh, just clear up after me and Matthias. We try to fix uh, some of the EC in the wings. Oh, and I sold my jet. You know I had a jet uh, which was in uh, several parts, uh, which wasn't put together. I saw that day, a guy came around and uh, wanted to buy it. Uh, so I got 500 for it and that can go towards a new plane or my uh, future tracks and slash the big one. All right guys, I'm gonna get off now because I'm driving a car and I don't want to end up in any accident or be stopped by the police for having a camera so they think I might talk on the phone, which I'm not. I'm not talking on the phone, I'm talking to the phone. All right, so uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I don't know if that skate video I'm gonna record tomorrow, if I am going. It's not gonna be up tomorrow because it's gonna be a little more project. I wanna render the videos out nicely so I get the best possible quality. It'll be a chance for me to practice working in Final Cut um, Pro X, because I purchased that. I thought, I'm gonna get away from iMovie. iMovie is like a beginner's thing. I, I think I'm about past that stage now so I can uh, start and uh, work with um, a proper editing software. I know some people say, well, the Final Cut Pro X is like um, a mix of Final Cut Pro and iMovie, but I don't care. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'll see you tomorrow. Take good care. Love you all. Good night. Or oh, goodbye.